Imagine Earth, but not as we know it. Imagine a world where everything is magnified beyond our wildest dreams. Picture our world transformed, inflated to the colossal size of Jupiter. The sheer scale would be unimaginable, dwarfing everything we know. This isn't a science fiction movie plot, but a thought experiment, a what-if scenario that lets us explore the incredible power of physics and the delicate balance that makes life on Earth possible. It's a journey into the unknown, where the rules of nature are pushed to their limits. If our humble planet were suddenly imbued with the dimensions of a gas giant, the consequences would be nothing short of astonishing. The very fabric of our reality would be altered in ways we can barely comprehend. Our familiar world, with its towering mountains and vast oceans, would become a stranger. The landscapes we cherish would be transformed into something unrecognizable, a testament to the overwhelming forces at play. The very laws of nature that govern our existence would be rewritten. Physics, as we know it, would take on a new form, adapting to the immense scale of our new home. Gravity, that invisible force that anchors us to the ground, would exert its dominance with newfound strength. The pull would be so intense that even the simplest actions would become Herculean tasks. Air pressure, the weight of the atmosphere pressing down on us, would become a crushing force. Breathing would be a challenge and the weather would be more extreme than anything we've ever experienced. Even the celestial dance between Earth and its faithful companion, the Moon, would be thrown into disarray. The gravitational forces would alter their orbits, leading to unpredictable and chaotic movements. This is the story of what would happen if Earth traded places with Jupiter, a journey into a realm of extreme forces and mind-boggling transformations. The storms and atmospheric phenomena would be unlike anything we've ever seen, painting a dramatic picture of our new reality. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a cosmic ride. Prepare yourself for an adventure that stretches the imagination and challenges our understanding of the universe. Gravity, the silent conductor of the cosmos, dictates the motion of planets and stars. It's the force that keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground and prevents us from floating away. But on a Jupiter-sized Earth, gravity would become a formidable force to be reckoned with. Instead of the familiar 1G we experience on Earth, we'd be subjected to a bone-crushing 11 Gs. Imagine trying to walk, let alone jump, with 11 times your weight pulling you down. Our muscles, evolved for Earth's gravity, would be woefully inadequate. Even standing upright would be a Herculean feat. Our bones, accustomed to supporting our earthly frames, would groan under the immense pressure. Over time, life on this supersized Earth would adapt, favoring shorter, stockier body plans capable of withstanding the intense gravitational pull. Our world would be a place of squat trees and low-slung creatures, their very forms sculpted by the relentless force of gravity. As we journey deeper into this hypothetical world, the air above us becomes a pressing concern, literally. The atmosphere, which we often take for granted, would transform into an oppressive force. With Earth's radius ballooning to Jupiter's size, the volume of the atmosphere would increase dramatically. This expansion would not just be a simple scaling up, it would fundamentally alter the dynamics of our planet's air. This means that the weight of the air above us, the atmospheric pressure, would skyrocket. The sheer mass of the atmosphere would exert an unimaginable force on everything at the surface. On our normal Earth, we barely notice the weight of the air, a comfortable 14.7 pounds per square inch at sea level. This pressure is perfectly balanced for life as we know it, but on our supersized Earth, the atmospheric pressure at sea level would be an astounding 11 times higher. Imagine the crushing force of over 160 pounds per square inch. That's like having an elephant sitting on every square inch of your body. The human body, which is adapted to our current atmospheric conditions, would be under extreme stress. Our lungs, designed to function within a specific pressure range, wouldn't stand a chance. The delicate tissues would be unable to expand and contract properly. Breathing, that essential act of life, would become a monumental struggle. Each breath would feel like a Herculean effort, as if trying to inhale through a straw while submerged underwater. Even if we could somehow withstand the crushing pressure, the very composition of the air would be altered. The balance of gases that we rely on for survival would shift dramatically. Nitrogen, 
the most abundant gas in our atmosphere, might be compressed into a liquid, rendering the air unbreathable for humans. This change would have catastrophic effects on all forms of life. The increased pressure would also affect the boiling point of liquids. Water, essential for all known life, would behave differently, potentially boiling at much higher temperatures, disrupting countless biological processes. The entire ecosystem would be thrown into chaos. Plants and animals, unable to adapt to the new conditions, would face extinction. The delicate balance that sustains life on Earth would be irrevocably broken. In this hypothetical scenario, our planet would become an alien world, hostile to the very life it once nurtured. The crushing weight of the atmosphere would transform Earth into a place unrecognizable to us. Section 4. Gasping for Air On this supersized Earth, the familiar act of breathing would be transformed into a desperate struggle for survival. Our lungs, accustomed to the gentle ebb and flow of air on Earth, would be overwhelmed by the oppressive weight of the atmosphere. The delicate tissues would struggle to expand and contract, starved for oxygen and suffocating under the immense pressure. Even if we were equipped with specialized breathing apparatuses, the challenges wouldn't end there. The very air we breathe would be different, its composition altered by the immense pressure. Nitrogen, the life-giving gas that makes up the majority of our atmosphere, might condense into a liquid, rendering the air we depend on toxic and unbreathable. The increased density of the air would also affect the way sound travels. Sounds would be muffled, distorted, and travel much farther than usual. Conversations would be a strange mix of whispers and booms, making communication a challenge. Our world would become a cacophony of alien sounds, a constant reminder of the unforgiving environment we inhabit. Section 5, The Boiling Point. The increase in pressure wouldn't just affect the air we breathe, but also the very essence of life, water. The boiling point of water, the temperature at which it transitions from a liquid to a gas, is directly influenced by atmospheric pressure. On our normal Earth, water boils at a comfortable 100 degrees Celsius, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level. But on our supersized Earth, with its crushing atmospheric pressure, the boiling point of water would soar to much higher temperatures. This would have profound implications for life as we know it. Oceans, lakes, and rivers would be much hotter, potentially reaching temperatures inhospitable to life. The water cycle, that delicate balance of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation, would be thrown into disarray. Weather patterns would become extreme and unpredictable, with scorching hot rain and violent storms becoming the norm. Section 6. Cosmic Billiards Our journey through a Jupiter-sized Earth takes us now to the vast expanse of space, where a new danger lurks, asteroids. These celestial bodies, often overlooked, are more than just floating rocks. They are remnants of the early solar system, carrying with them the history of our cosmic neighborhood. Asteroids, those rocky remnants from the early solar system, pose a constant threat to our planet. They are like cosmic time capsules, holding secrets of the universe's formation, but also potential harbingers of destruction. Fortunately, Earth's relatively small size and gravity mean that we're not a prime target for these cosmic wanderers. Our planet's modest gravitational pull acts as a shield, deflecting many of these space rocks away from us. However, if Earth were the size of Jupiter, our gravitational pull would increase dramatically, turning our planet into a cosmic magnet for asteroids. This immense gravity would draw in countless asteroids, making our planet a focal point for these wandering celestial bodies. We would attract far more of these space rocks, and the impacts would be far more devastating. The sheer number of asteroids colliding with Earth would transform our planet's surface, creating a landscape pockmarked with craters. Imagine the energy released when an asteroid, even a small one, slams into Earth at tens of thousands of miles per hour. The force of such an impact would be unimaginable, releasing energy equivalent to millions of atomic bombs. The impact would release energy equivalent to millions of atomic bombs, creating massive craters, triggering earthquakes, and potentially causing widespread extinctions. The aftermath of such collisions would be catastrophic, altering the climate and reshaping the geography of our planet. On a Jupiter-sized Earth, these cosmic collisions would be far more frequent and far more catastrophic, 
The increased gravitational pull would ensure that our planet is constantly bombarded by asteroids, leading to a never-ending cycle of destruction and recovery. The night sky, once a source of wonder, would become a constant source of dread, filled with the fiery trails of incoming asteroids. The beauty of the cosmos would be overshadowed by the ever-present threat of these celestial projectiles, turning our gaze to the heavens into a fearful watch for the next impact.